It was 1937. Several inner city New York churches got together and wanted to start a band to keep kids off the street and out of trouble. There was just one problem, says longtime Warriors director James Lathan. They figured they'd organize a band. And they tried to organize a band, but they just couldn't get a person who was able to teach band instruments. So they had one young fellow who was a bugler, and he said, hey, later for bands, let's make a drum and bugle call. It would be easier to teach the kids. He said you could take a person that has no experience at all and teach them how to play the bugle. And so that's how it got started. And from there, the Mini St. Drum and Bugle Corps would evolve and later become the CMCC Warriors. James was 12 years old when he joined in the 1940s, coming up through the Corps as a drummer, instructor, and eventually director. With kids mostly from the Bronx and Harlem, the Corps grew with a motto of each one teach one, as older members mentored younger ones. And the kids were devoted. I mean, we, we have two rehearsals a week. But actually it was like every day in the week. If you took your instrument home, there were times when right after homework, we would meet on the stoop and we would go over whatever song we were taught that week in, 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 at the rehearsal. And the next thing we knew, other people got, parents got interested because they saw that we were not making zip guns and gang banging and snatching people's purses, but we were busy playing the instruments and keeping ourselves busy. So uh, uh, with, with things that were progressive. The Warriors started field competition in 1963. They were soon in the thick of greater New York circuit competition and would hit many of the big shows on the East Coast. The Warriors had a powerful sound and a distinctive snap and swagger. The Corps made its DCI championship debut in 1974. The last appearance came in 1985, as the Warriors would become an all-age Corps. It all came to an end in 87. The Warriors would be reborn in 2014 as an alumni group and soon added a program for kids. There was too much history, too many memories, too much good work still to be done to let the Corps fade away completely. Here's Kevin Dennis. We got together and said we have to figure out a way to build back drum corps in New York because it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a desert uh, right now with regards to high school music programs. Uh, just, just, it's just needs to, it was something that needed to be done. And since we had such a rich heritage and we have such deep rooted history, it just made sense to, to continue this program and grow the program with popularity, with events, community outreach, and that's the stage we are right now with the Battle in the Burrows. Battle in the Burrows, your chance to say you played New York. It's open to mini cores, alumni groups, small ensembles, solo acts, and the price to come watch. Well, that's a win-win as the Warriors are helping Harlem's St. Charles Borromeo Church battle hunger. The admission is canned goods, dry goods, perishable goods, around a value of $10 or so, whatever you want to bring. And if you can't, if you can't bring a perishable good, the mission's only $10. Battle in the Boroughs, Saturday, November 9th at 3 p.m. at St. Charles Borromeo Church in Harlem. A good cause, steeped in drum corps history.